Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of received a new message at your private terminal. Interrupting Kelly. Mass Effect 2, the best game ever. Right, unread messages. We need to do a whole bunch of talking today. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. Let's talk. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Okay. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. Okay. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need any. Yes, yeah, so as I said, lots of talking. Let's go to Tolly first. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The Admirals will be waiting for us. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Samara. And Grunt. Uh, Grunt is... I don't know where he is. I think he's on cruise. Samara is over here, so we'll talk to her now. I'm glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. 
It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. I remember hearing her called an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Okay. And grunt. Who should be... I don't know where he is. My support? No. Where is Grunt? Oh yeah, he's up here. Duh. Somewhere. Am I that useless? I think I'm that useless. Alright. Not here. Oh, he is down here, okay. I didn't see that green thing on Port Cargo, even though I knew he was here. Bird not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Reeves said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. Uh, let's go a little later. And back to you here. Come 
Commander, I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Oh boy, where is he? Uh, he's... What's this area of the ship? Down here. Lots of talking today. I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant bugs. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. Boy, this There's will a take specialist weeks. on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Right, well, we have many weeks left to go with all this. I was, I was hoping that soon we might actually get onto the suicide mission, but apparently not. No messages for you, Commander. Cool, let's talk. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. I always felt there might have been some chemistry there. There is. It's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Corians are so fascinating to me. But they also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay. Let's look at the map. We probably can't do a big thing now. Um... Oh boy. Um... Boy, there's a lot. Which one's the easiest to do? I think Samara might be easier. I think I'll just cut a whole bunch of this, probably. It'll, because this is gonna take way too long. dislike um, this area for some reason except them oh what do we want Hmm. 
Let's get this, because why not? Now, which one do we get? Let's get the assassination one. Yay, we got one that's full. Right, uh, let's also... Oh no, damn. Never mind. Can do it here. Cool. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Aria, okay, let's go. Yes, Aria's here. Why do these doors take so long to open? Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Aria has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. Okay. I guess we do this first. Oh, okay. Right, where's, where are you, man? He was here, wasn't he? Swear he said he was here. Yep, let's have a dance. You suck at dancing, man. Man, just stop, you suck. Okay, I no longer know where I am. Have I met Patriarch already? I think I have. Wrong way. I hate Omega so much. You just can't navigate in here. Alright, three here. Turn left. Okay. And carry on forward. Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Sel. You look like a good person to know. You need something? 
Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. Find someone else to do your dirty work. Of course. You're not the type to be interested in work that could change the face of a place like Omega. I'm sorry I bothered you. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. Find someone else to do your dirty work. Come see me if you change your mind. Okay. Let's just go talk to Arya. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yaxi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yaxi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her? Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Okay, I think I know where this is. I hate how long these doors take are open. Mass Effect really needs to have thought about this. Come on, let me in. The apartments are here. seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> my baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. All right. Uh. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I, I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it, but I'd never part with it.
Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for secures, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the hallux is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So, we have to lure her out? Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Okay, yeah, let's go. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. Yes, let's go. Kent! End is not. Seriously, what is the problem with these doors? They take so long to open. You will be dead in a minute too if you say us again. Come on, let me in. Right, where's the VIP section? Um, there. Okay, I just took a really long route then, apparently.
think it goes through here. Where do we go? No, we go here. And then... Here, yes, VIP. Found it. What do you want? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. What do you want? What's behind this door? The VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jeruth. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Will hurt you. Best thing ever. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake, and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Do you remember everything? We cannot risk any mistakes. Okay. Let's get started. Shepard, we only... Do you remember... Oh, for fuck's sake. We cannot risk any mistakes. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get... Okay, let's go. They'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. The standards must be low. You're here. That's pathetic when humans try to talk big. Bartender, give me another drink. Do you know anyone interesting? What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend money. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! That was a great idea. I know! That was a great idea. Still hanging around? What, are you still hanging around? Lots of money on the Good cred hunting tonight. We'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We've got to get enough creds to keep Hank off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? You think you're going to jump someone in the alley? Think again. You've been watching too many vids, little human. Run along now. Walking. I told you to keep walking. Who's this guy? Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? 
Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A vid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang leaders. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florit's on it. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florit, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. Okay. I love this place. I love everyone. Terminal eternity. You need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Right, what do I do? I think I need to punch someone. Where's this guy? Let's punch him. Don't be like that. I got cracks. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Nice. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? Ah, shit. Right. Artists, battlefield. I'm confident. I know what I like. Do you? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Ooh. Ah. Uh. Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vienna? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. Um, okay. So we've done that. Uh, crap. Ooh. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? The music of your people has always seemed special to me. That's vague. 2,500 years as a spacefaring race, remember? I like ancient Asari music. When we played seashells and animal bladders, I prefer this music. Sure. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that, you know? What do you think of Halleck? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Gum. 
Why is this so hard? Family travel or just because I don't know. Pretty sure some of them turn this whole conversation off. Um, right. Travel? I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. If you're the strongest, you have the power. That's certainly true. Among children. If you don't think it's true everywhere, you're fooling yourself. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby. Yes, we got it. I want you alone. Oof. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? Uh... People feel safest right before they die. It's true, we're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. into my eyes and tell me you want me tell me you'd kill for me anything I want I want you I'd kill for you anything you want shh darling just relax and hear my words Marin Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Moran! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. Yay. Number 14. Alright, I think that concludes this episode, so let us just new squad power up now. Ah, uh, not now then. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye bye!